Hi guys and welcome to TechBase. In this video we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the dev channel, which is the build 25131. This is the latest build for the dev channel, as I've said, that was released by Microsoft on June the 2nd. And in this video, as always, we're going to talk about what is new, what is fixed, what is changed in this build, and so on. Before doing anything, please don't forget to leave a like and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. And before continuing, with the video, a quick message from our video sponsor. This video is sponsored by SoftwareKeep.com. SoftwareKeep.com provides wholesale price software such as Microsoft Office, Windows, and antivirus software. With SoftwareKeep, you have instant digital download and lifetime product warranty. If you are interested in a Windows 10 license, SoftwareKeep is the place for you. The price is lower and you can always use it on Windows 11 or upgrade to Windows 11 as well. Click the Add to Cart button on the license and then make sure to click on enter promo code and use the code TB15 for an extra discount only for the viewers of this channel. You can use the special code on the entire store. Click on proceed to checkout and you have various different payment methods that you can choose from. The link to software keep is in the description below and don't forget to use the promo code TB15 for a 15% discount on the entire website. Let's continue with the video. Windows 11 build 25131 is again not a very big build but we have a good set of fixes and also a new update for the Microsoft Store. So Microsoft is beginning to roll out an update to the Microsoft Store to Windows Insiders in the dev channel. Of course, this will only be available for a small percentage of Windows Insiders from the dev channel. But if you are among those selected, you can go to library and then get updates. Of course, I'm going to make a video these days if I found a way to update manually to this version. But until then, you can try to update from the Microsoft Store using the library options and you should receive the new update and the new update is 22205. As you can see right now, I have the 22204 version and the 05 version comes with a few interesting changes and also improvements. So for example, in the new version, we will have native ARM64 support, also improved app updates. Regarding the improved app updates, the version will have an interesting change. So Microsoft says that they will skip over apps that you have opened so you don't lose any important work. I think this is a very noticeable thing that was happening even on the main release. Of course, I use Windows 11, the main release on my main computer, and sometimes my Microsoft to-do app was getting updated, it was getting closed and so on. So I think this is a very, very nice change. We also have improved Android app support for the pop-up store experience and also faster navigation. Lastly, Microsoft promises improved viewing options UX for movies and TV shows, which is really interesting. Of course, more info and more detailed info you can find in the article down below in the description. Now let's talk about some fixes in this build. Microsoft fixed an issue causing some insider PCs with certain AMD processors to bug check and roll back when attempting to upgrade to last week's flight. This issue is also believed to be the cause of some insiders experiencing a bug check after enabling SVM in the BIOS on their PCs in the last build. And also regarding general fixes, Microsoft fixed an issue which was causing some insiders with secondary accounts on their PC to not be able to upgrade to the latest builds. Regarding the file explorer, the new folder icon used in the command bar should be consistent with the one used in the context menu now, as you can see here. They also fixed an issue which could lead to File Explorer hanging when browsing folders with lots of .mkv files. And they also fixed an issue that was causing searching from home to not return any results sometimes from the open or save dialog when doing it from the File Explorer return results. Regarding search, searching for something like percentage app data percentage should now show a proper folder icon and not just a blank square. This is really nice and you can easily open this location. And also when selecting open file location for a search result, it should now select the file in the folder again now and not just open the folder. This is really, really nice. Regarding the settings app, searching for default will now return the default app settings page as the first result and not require you to click show all results in order to see it. That's really nice. Also, they fixed an issue where the listen to this device audio option would stop working after a reboot until being unchecked and rechecked. And also narrator will now read out the position of the radio buttons in the settings accessibility and color filters page to make it easier to navigate. Regarding other fixes, hovering over do you like what you see when using Windows Spotlight on the lock screen should no longer display a shadow which extends to the bottom of the screen. They also fixed an issue which was leading to certain frame rate monitoring applications impacting game performance and also fixed an issue that could
could cause rounded corners to unexpectedly become pixelated at certain scale factors. Of course, you can check out the known issues by clicking in the on the article down below. A few known issues were added in this build, which is really interesting. And of course, don't forget to try to update to the latest version of the Microsoft Store. Microsoft is also releasing SDKs for new dev channel builds again. Links are included in the article down below, so you can check that out from there. This was the 25,131 build from the dev channel from the 2nd of June. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please don't forget to leave a like down below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. Until the next video, I hope you all have a nice day.